So, last time I did this, my computer straight up crashed. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again, because this actually takes a while uh, to get through. But, you know, it might just not happen again. One can only hope. Excuse me. Ha, uh, boink. Anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna run these because I don't like them. Also, I gotta remember that I can roll in this game and just do that in place of a lot of... Oh my gosh! I thought it was gonna happen again. Did anybody else see the black screen for a second there? Because I sure did. I was ready for my game to just completely not work anymore. Boink! See, that guy didn't even notice me. Didn't even notice that he was being completely displaced. Not that I care. So, yeah. This is all that's happening today. We're just going through. Oh my gosh. I should probably just have the usurper gun on on me at all times. Because otherwise this is not going to go well. And hey! Handy dandy elevator all the way to the top. Right? No. Great. Well, okay. Yeah, let's fix the elevator then. I am a mechanic, so this is only going to be really, really easy. I mean, come on! It's not like... We've we've already beaten up all the agents and everything. It's not like there's even anybody left to to uh, to stand in my way. It's time to whip out my tool. Uh -huh. Agent Black from the pit of you know not being able to heal. I have no idea why she's even here. And she's really resilient. We already kind of knew that about Agent Black, but still. Boy, what do you mean, where is he? What are you talking about? I really don't know what you mean, Agent Black. So, you know. We gotta get the elevator working. Ow. Hey. Ow. Not appreciated. Hold on, let me just get the elevator working really quick. Like, really, really quick. Like, as quick as humanly possible. Because I don't like being here, on all honesty. This is one of my least favorite fight sequences. Excuse me. Ow. Like, in terms of fight sequences, this is terrible. Because... It's terrible for the sake of being bad. Not, not really. I don't actually think that way. But, I mean, look at my health. Look at what all we've accomplished. Jack Diddley. Hey, there we go. Okay, never mind. This is what I mean about it being a, a crappy fight sequence, though. We did it! We saved the day! And got the elevator working, and we're gonna use it to get the heck out of here, and we're never gonna see Agent Black again. Ugh, good. So, um, I'm gonna save the game here, and we're not going to think too much about how I'm saving the game here, because... Let's just not think too much about it. This is, this is the old save file that I took 10 hours and 65% of the way to get here. Now, what in the heck? How did you even get here before me? How did this even happen? Whatever. Anyways... Agent Black is old and disgruntled, and I don't really care. So, you know what? When have I listened to lore in this entire game? Honestly. Like, I have no reason to listen to lore. So, we're using Mina's seeds to beat the crap out of her. Because she sucks, and I don't like her. I'm gonna see if I can do it without getting hit. It's not gonna happen, but it'd be really cool if it did. Somehow, Agent Black is just super special. And she can... Okay, wow, I literally jumped into that. And I did not hardly even try to win there. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you got some limbs growing out ya. Oi! We're gonna use that to get to space, pal. It's her rocket. It's not. It's mine. I'm gonna use it. How did that even... Oi! Why are you doing that? Come on. Just turn into a tree already. Be one with nature and all that jazz. I mean, no. Oh. No. Shut up. You're, like, not good. I don't like you. Okay, that's stupid. 
There we go. Anyways, she seems to be having a really good time. You're welcome, Agent Black. Okay, that's not great. Ow. All you did was what? It's your rocket. Oh, it's my rocket. Shut up. I don't care. Come on, 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 come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. We defeated another agent by turning them very brutally into a tree of ivory. What do you mean, no? Shut up. Pow. It's time for you to be dead already. You've been alive for far too long. And, you know, it's not even all that great of a life, according to yourself. Okay, this doesn't look very good. Kind of a brutal list. But, you know, when they can just bring you back. <laughs> there it goes. Good times. There lies Agent Black. Alright, let's go. Cool times. Good stuff. Um, this is about where my computer crashed the first time. <laughs> it's alright, Robin. You know, why would I, you know, stand, stand on my laurels and not do the whole not killing people thing. Boy, what in the heck? What in the world is that? Come on, come on. Oh, dang, he's shaking its booty. That thing's shaking its booty. Oh my gosh. Boy, what in the heck? How am I even supposed to win against that? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Boy, not cool. What the hell? Come on. Oh my gosh. We've gotten it. Sheesh. Seriously. Very cool. I'm so glad that it's doing that. Give me health. Oh, that's where it is now, huh? Well, not that I care. I mean, this gun's pretty damn good. I like it. I sure like guns. Come on, try it again. Oh, jeez. Okay, I see what the purpose was. Boy. Oh, what? You're telling me I can't hit that from there? I have super great aim and a really nice weapon. Weapon. It'd be super rad if, like, the hearts fell, were affected by gravity and all that, because... As it stands, there was a heart that was up there that I straight up couldn't get. It's fine and all, but like also not. My health is relatively low. Not the lowest it's ever been since I've died in this game before. Hit. <laughs> Bit of a sad admission. Admission. Yeah, I mean, sorry, I, uh. <laughs> sad admission. Yeah, I'm never saying that again. I see, they come out in the same area, same order they grow. Yeah, you want to do the thing where you, like, expose your weak point, and I can actually hit it? That'd be super cool, personally. Alright, I'm starting to see what I'm supposed to do, and she does that. Come on. Sheesh. Ow. Not that I care. Like, the, the startup for that move is not... I'm not gonna say, oh, it's no long enough for me to react. But, like, it still kinda sucks a bit that I get, um... freaking stunned when, like, whenever she does anything. I'm calling it she, because, let's face it, this thing's probably Agent Black. Just look at that other bug, that it isn't Agent Black. Finally! Oh, ma! Holy god. Okay. Wonderful. I'm glad I knew that was going to happen. Seriously, can the health, like, fall? That would be super epic if the health fell. Ugh. There we go. This is going really well, actually. So, you know... I have no more room to complain about, like, anything. Unless that thing killed me. <laughs> Unless that little 
wisp seed thing killed me, then I would be having not a good time. Pal, get over it. Boy, am I glad those things don't do damage now. Alright, we now have a, a bit of excess load on the rocket, but that's perfectly fine. Everybody knows that the rocket is designed well within a very lucrative factor of safety because we have the resources for that, of course. Probably not. Anyways. What now, huh, pal? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Robin. I will remember that. I gotta use this machine here. Enter the password from before. I would blow it up. Good luck. Okay. Thanks. Um, maybe I'll do that. On the next episode of Iconoclasts. Maybe. Right, Elro. Hey, come on. <laughs> Well, yeah. There he is! Elro, my man! Come on. Walk over to the button, Elro. So, yeah. Uh, let's uh, get out of here. Come on. Uh-huh. Watch, he's gonna reach through the window and, like, knock her out or something. Because Elro is a sick fella. <laughs> No, actually, I had the easiest boss fight. Hmm! Cool! Alright, now we have some buttons to push. Come on, Elro. Come on. Come on, Elro. Come on. Pal, you have to, to press the button, dude. Jeez. Elro. Not cool. Not cool, Elro. You gotta launch the rocket, or I'm just gonna be sitting here, and then we're all gonna die. What do you mean? No, come on. We're all gonna die anyways. Elro, you probably should have said that before we got all the way here. Uh. Elro, push the freaking button. This is super epic. Will Elro push the button? I guess we'll have to find out on the next episode, maybe. There's no place for me to save the game, so... Uh, no, Elro, you shouldn't do that. Elro, come on. There's enough room here to... <clears throat> if you're not going to push the button while you're alive, then I'll shoot you anyways. Just push the button, pal. Elro, not cool. Oh, well, really not cool. There we go. Based Mina. Straight up killed a man. They're really taking a long time, aren't they? You think they made it to the launch center? Yeah. Should be alright. I wonder if I'll get to play as Mina again for approximately a full minute. Ah! Watching? Are we good? Are we going? We're golden? We're going to the moon? Making it, pals. We did it! They pushed the button! Elro got his ass back up and was like, Okay, Mina, just don't shoot me again! That is, of course, exactly what happened. Now we've got a, a dragger here. Which isn't great. Okay, good. It's being pulled off in the atmosphere. This is this is this is good news. Finally, good. Um, now, as for the big gaping hole in our um, fuel tank, I don't think that would go over as well. But uh, I don't care. So, eh. And here we are in space, fellas. We made it to space. This is one small step for mechanic. One giant leap for mechanic kind. Something of that nature. Stop being safe to build on a while, while back. The big moon, huh? What's the destination? The, the blown apart pieces of the moon or the big crescent looking moon that has a hole in it? Right, that's this game. 
pretty sure the moon is in pieces in this game. Which is weird, because it would fall in on itself, probably. It's kind of amazing how spherical planets are. Apparently, if the Earth was the same size as a billiards ball, it would be smoother than, like, a billiards ball. Which is, is a bit much to really wrap your head around, I would say, but, you know... <laughs> that level of precision is a bit much. But when I think about it, hell, like the atmosphere goes up a couple thousand? No. Yes? No. Maybe. I don't remember. But uh, the actual features of the Earth only go up or down so much with reference to like the millions of mile diameter or something like that. I'm probably wrong. Wow. This is straight up a tourist destination. And we're going to see it all on the next episode. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'm going to beat you half to death. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.